thought I would slot the fingerboard today. This is a Stumac fret scale ruler. I'm going to do it a 25 and a half scale, standard fender scale. I'm going to take this ruler and do tick marks all along. And then I'll use basically a miter box to cut the fret slots. Just noticed we were not recording. I'm not sure what he picked up and didn't. But what I'm do, what I have done now, is I took the razor blade. I put the razor blade in the tick mark. I took the square, butted it up against the razor blade, and I scored each fret line. This just makes it much easier to see the fret lines that I need to cut. I like to just triple check everything that I do. I'm gonna line up the fret scale again and just confirm that these are in line with the fret scale. So this is the first fret saw that I ever had. It is supposed to cut in one direction, but as this saw became worn, I had to resharpen it. And what I did was sharpen it so that it cut both directions. And I used this to rough in fret slots, which is probably what wore the saw out to begin with. Now we have a slotted fingerboard. This is the Stumac centering rule. I'm going to use it to establish a center line on the fingerboard. considered doing pearl dots but I think the clay is going to look better with the overall look of the guitar you have this kind of off-white eggshell kind of Olympic white looking finish I just think that the pearl is just a little bit too flashy for this guitar so we are going to do the clay dots I like that it drew a bit just smaller then the clay dots as they tend to wobble a little bit. I think it's pretty much just the right hole for them. So I'm gonna go take this to the drill press and drill these. I got my depth stop set. Take the first hole here to fine tune the depth stop. Keep rolling. I think that is pretty much perfect. The dot is just barely proud of the fretboard. So I'm going to use that depth for the rest of them.
step stop against the fingerboard, it usually mars it a little bit. To save myself a step later, what I'm going to do before I clean up the fret dots is I'm going to go ahead and cut these fret slots to depth. This process takes a while. It's just a matter of going through with the saw. The saw is very sharp, but it takes very a very small amount of material at a time. It's just a matter of going through every single slot with the saw, checking with the depth gauge to see that each slot is deep enough to accept the fret tank. That frustrating process actually took about half an hour to do. So, now that's finally done, we can go through and level out these fret markers. Do a final pass on the top of the, fin top of the fingerboard here. And now we have a fingerboard with some clay dots in it. A little bit more sanding. I want to make sure that I don't change this radius. What I like to use is a foam backer, pretty stiff foam backer, and I'm gonna go up a couple of grits right here. This is 80 on the sanding block, so up to 120 now, and 180 grit, 220 grit, 320, 400, and 600. 